All right, hello everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever time it is where you're at. My name is Truth Smith, and today I would like to share with you a mathematical problem. I know, riveting, right? No, but uh, this is a problem that I invented a few days ago, and uh, I've been trying to solve it. It's way too difficult for my little brain to uh, wrap around, and so I thought I would post it on YouTube, give the greatest minds of our generation a chance to uh, see what they think. So, part of my drawing skills. This uh, problem starts with a cup, and it starts with a cup of liquid, right? So, pretty self-evident. You can imagine it's a cup of whatever you want. So it could be a cup of, you know, uh, Kim's tea, or it could be a cup of water, it could be a, a cup of scotch, doesn't matter. And we also have a circular absorbent, right? So this, in my problem, was like a cracker, like saltine or rich cracker or whatever. But uh, you can just imagine it, anything that absorbs liquid. Now, what is going on with this thing is it is being lowered into the water. Now, you would think, oh, you have to hold it with your hand to lower it into the water. No, this is a theoretical problem, so there's no hand involved, right? The cracker is just being lowered into the excess water. Now, the dimensions of the cracker are this. It's a perfect circle, right? Perfect circle, part of my drawing skills. And the radius of this perfect circle is one inch, okay? Follow me? So, perfect circle, radius is one inch. Now, it is being lowered into the water, and you think about how things get absorbed, and things don't absorb liquid at a constant rate. So imagine you throw a sponge into a cup, right? It's not immediately going to absorb all the water that it eventually will. Give it more time, it'll absorb more water. So naturally, there's an equation that goes with this. So for any given part of the cracker, uh, based off the amount of seconds that has been in the water, it will absorb at this rate. So the milliliters of absorption, right? So we'll say milliliters, Amount equals one milliliter minus, and then up on top we have time over time plus one. Okay? So, one milliliter minus time over time plus one. So after one second, if you imagine, here's a one, right? And then here's a uh, two, so this would be one plus one, right? And so you'd have one minus one over two, which would equal one half. So after one second, this part of the cracker that has already been submerged for one second is in fact only absorbing half a milliliter per second, as opposed to what has not yet been submerged for a second, which is absorbing one, right? So when the time is zero, this is taken off and it's absorbing one milliliter per second. Now, the cracker is being lowered in at a rate of one inch per second, right? So, uh, pardon me, not one inch, one half inch per second. So imagine here's the cracker, right? So, oh, that's terrible. Anyway, whatever. After one second, you would have about a fourth of the way to the top lowered in. After two seconds, there would be one inch, right? Three seconds here, and then four seconds, the whole thing is um, submerged. Now, the question that is uh, being proposed here is after three seconds, three seconds, how much water has been absorbed, given this information? Now, this uh, strikes, of course, on the onset as a very simple problem, and it is a simple concept, but the math that goes into it, as I have learned, and as you may learn when you begin to try and solve it, is very, very complicated. So, with that being said, if you come up with the solution to this equation, please post it in the comments. I would love to see what you have to do have to say and the processes by which you came up with that uh, number. And if there are any fallacies in this problem, obviously it's something that I made up. There might be an equation that's missing. There might be a, a variable that needs to be defined before we can actually come up with a concrete solution. Post that in the comments too. I'd love to see what you hear. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.